Welcome to Brightworks. This morning we had a tech session on center lock wheels. And uh, there's a lot of stuff out on the interweb about how to get these lug nut on and off. Uh, but not a lot of stuff on how to repack these or rebuild these guys, which you need to do about every third time that you take them off. So we're going to take one apart show you how that's done. First of all, according to the uh, Porsche spec, make sure you have a block of wood. Then you take the block of wood, take your lug nut, or your center lock nut, more technically correct, and pops out just like that. You have a couple of different pieces. Conical piece, your uh, uh, little uh, C-clip, and then in here you have a washer. This is what you're trying to clean out. All of the stuff that's in there. So you're just basically repacking this thing. Now you gotta start by cleaning this thing up. Probably one of the dirtier jobs you'll ever do with wheels. But uh, I like to wipe off the heavy grease with a paper towel so I don't get it all in my parts washer. All right, and then just keep wiping all these down. And when you're done with those, they end up looking like this. So that's a nice clean one. This is a nice clean um, friction disc. And same thing for your little C-clip. To clean up the nut itself, I don't like to dip this in uh, uh, mineral spirits, so I mainly will try to scrape this stuff out and get about 80% of it out because it's way, 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 you can see it down in here. There's a groove, a ton of old grease in there. There's a groove on the outside tons and tons of old grease so you keep wiping that stuff out and then what I'll do after I get the majority of it out is take a little paper towel and just a tiny little bit of whatever your favorite brake cleaner is wet the towel down a little bit and then just keep working this until you've gotten 99 0.9% of the grease off. It would be almost impossible to get 100%. But you just keep working it, going, going, until you finally got it off. Probably go through about six paper towels before you get it down to where it's fairly clean. This one still needs a little bit more of a touch-up, but here we have one that's super clean. So I'm going to go over to the parts washer and clean these three pieces up. Again, it's just the rubber o-ring. I don't want to take it off because if I take it off I risk breaking it and since it's a Saturday afternoon I've got no place to go get another one um, so I'm going to just clean this one by hand and these three pieces I'm going to put in the, uh, in the uh, parts washer with mineral spirits and get that grease off there so that it's super clean and then we'll come back and talk about greasing and uh, how to put this stuff all back together. All right, welcome back. Um, we've got everything clean now. You'll see I have three of these taken apart at one time because even though we think we just did the dirty part, now we have to re-grease everything. So where we are going to start is on this uh, bolt. They call it a bolt, uh, Porsche does. We are going to grease this surface right in here. Now we're not just going to use any grease. We are going to use this uh, Malube alloy paste. Uh, it's a high temp uh, anti-seize basically made by Castrol and if you know anything about Porsches you know there is no substitute and there is no substitute for this grease. So this is available at your Porsche dealership. Nowhere else. A lot of people have tried different things. I would not mess around with this. Just go to the Porsche dealership. It's somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks for this uh, tube. Uh, should last you a little while. So what we're going to do is there's two different coatings that is called out by the specification. There's a light coating and there's a generous coating. Uh, light coating is 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters thick. This is a feeler gauge 
that's 0.35, which is halfway between 0.2 and 0.5, uh, how thick the coating should be. So, yeah, good luck with that. We're going to do a light coating on this circular area, and then we're going to use what's called a generous coating on the actual threads here. They call them trapezoid threads, and that's between a half uh, millimeter and, uh, and one millimeter. So, <clears throat> We're going to take a little bit of this grease, put it on our finger, and just wipe it around that central bolt portion. We've got it in there. We probably can go a little bit more because, again, we're looking for about uh, uh, 0.35 millimeters of grease. So we get it around this guy, and now that's got a nice coat of fresh, uh, it's really anises on there, but uh, the special castor oil grease. Okay, now the next spot that we're going to grease is the actual threads here. And it says about a half to one millimeter, which is almost filling these threads up about halfway. So we're going to use what they are technically calling a generous amount. So we can get in here and get those greased up pretty well. Spread that around a little bit. And you can see that you get very, very uh, coated with the, the Santa Seas when you do it. So we look around this thing, a couple little spots there that I want to touch up, so I'm just going to get some more and stick it on there. I'm going to move it around because what we don't want to happen is we do not want this nut to seize on that hub. We will never be able to get it off and if we do, we'll destroy other things which will make it uh, not good. Okay, so the central bolt. <clears throat> that's done now it specifically says do not put any grease on this washer um, so we don't put any grease on this washer but it sits on the grease on the bolt so no grease there whatsoever then we get to the circular area of the cone ring so that's the center the center is called the circular area of the cone ring um, around the back and around the inside. This also is a light coating of grease. But you see these three little bores? They want those filled between a third to two thirds. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that. Put a little bit of grease there and then we will use that to actually work around the rest of it. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so you can see they're kind of filled in there, filled in there, and we'll put the grease around the outside, the inside also. And then we are also going to put it on the circular uh, cone ring. That's what Porsche calls it. So now we have a light coating of grease all the way around. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more in these two bores not happy with how it went down in there. There we go. Remember, between a third and two thirds full. And we got this thing greased pretty nicely, pushing it into the bore, working it down into it a little bit. You'll hear air bubbles popping as you as you do that. But those are just little reservoirs. Okay, now. We take this little guy and we drop him on that washer. Remember that it said to not grease. A nice thin coat, pretty even, uniform. You don't want to leave globs. Okay, so that will get set down on there. But to do that, first thing we need to do, or the next thing we need to do, is put our seat clip on. So we are going to orient this so that the opening 
of the C clip here is the opposite of the little split in the conical ring. And then this comes the hard part, getting this guy to slide into place. We've got one half, oh, we lost one half, and almost. And you see it popped into place. Now what I'll do with this is I'll go around, grab myself another paper towel, one for my hands first, just to get the extra heavy stuff off, and then I'll go around the outside where that rubber o-ring is, just going to hold this guy so I don't get too much grease on him, I'll just go around here, wipe that off. And now you have a uh, central bolt, as Porsche refers to it, that is ready to go back on the car and do work for 3,000 trek miles or three times um, of taking this thing on and off the, off the car. So that's it. Pretty easy to do. I'm going to do it a couple more times and then reinstall these guys to 444 foot pounds but uh, thank you for watching hopefully you learned something don't skimp on the grease buy the right stuff the uh, Porsche dealerships have it it's easy to get just order it and good luck trying to get 0.35 millimeters of, uh, of grease on there all right those are central uh, locking wheel bolts and uh, not as not as hard to use as we thought. So go out there and enjoy your center locks. They really look great on the cars. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you visit brightworks.com.